Hi, I'm Sir Oliver, your online math tutor. Shoutout po kay Ma'am Zapanta. Thank you, Ma'am. At sa lahat po ng teachers at students na sumusubaybay sa ating tutorial. Pag-uusapan natin ngayon ang difference of two squares. Review. List all the perfect square numbers. You should be able to list the first 15 square numbers in 30 seconds. I will be giving you time. Go! Time is up. The perfect squares are 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100, 121, 144, 169, 196, at 225. So, kailangan ay familiar tayo sa mga perfect square numbers. Good job! Magkaroon muna tayo ng review. Multiply x plus 3 times x minus 3. Gagamit tayo ng FOIL method. First terms, x times x equals x squared. Outer terms, x times negative 3 equals to negative 3x. Inner terms, x times 3 equals positive 3x. At ang ating last terms ay 3 times negative 3 equals to negative 9. So, kailangan natin i-combine ang like terms. Negative 3x plus 3x is cancelled out. Therefore, our answer is x squared minus 9. So, this is an example of difference of two squares. Factoring a difference of two squares, ito po yung kanyang format. a squared minus b squared. So, therefore, the, factor, the factors are a plus b and a minus b. To factor a difference of two squares, write the product of the sum and the difference of two quantities being squared. So, we have conditions that we need to satisfy. The first one, A, it is a binomial and each term is a square. So, when we talk about the constant terms, it should be a perfect square numbers. Yung mga nilista natin kanina. Kapag naman variable, yung mga X, Y, and any letters, it should be raised to an even exponent. Kapag even, it should be divisible by 2. Just like x squared, x to the 4th, x to the 6th, and so on. The exponent must be even. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so and so forth. While the second condition, there is a minus sign between the two terms. Again, it is a binomial and each term is a square and there should be minus sign. So, let's have an example. You are asked to factor it out x squared minus 9. So, we have here the conditions. It is a binomial and then each term is a perfect square. x squared is a perfect square. Okay? How about 9? Yes, 9 is a perfect square. So, therefore, we satisfy the first condition. And then, the second condition, there must be minus sign between the two terms. We also satisfy the second condition. So, therefore, the factors are x plus 3 times the quantity x minus 3 by getting the square of each term. Is it clear? 
So let's have another example. 4x squared minus 25. It is a binomial, yes. And then let's talk about each third if it is perfect square. 4, yes. x squared, yes. 25, yes. All the terms are perfect square numbers or terms. Therefore, we satisfied the first condition. And there is a minus sign. Thus, we also satisfied the second condition. That's why the answer is 2x plus 5 and 2x minus 5. Okay, don't panic with this example even though there's a fraction. Okay, so let us talk about the conditions. Each term is a perfect square. 121. Yes, it is a perfect square. That is 11. How about x to the 8th? Yes, x to the 4th because 8 is an even. When we talk about the fraction, the numerator and the denominator must be both a perfect square. Is 9 a perfect square? Yes. How about 25? Yes. So therefore, we satisfied the first condition that is, it is a binomial and all the terms are perfect square. Again, when we talk about the fraction, the numerator and the denominator must be a perfect square numbers. Okay, there you go. And then, there is a minus sign between them. So, therefore, it is factorable by difference of two squares. And the result is 11x to the 4th plus 3 pif and 11x to the 4th minus 3 pif. How about this example? b squared minus 8. It is a binomial and then b squared is a perfect square. How about 8? Is 8 a perfect square? So, it's not a perfect square. So, therefore, we did not satisfy the first condition even though there is a minus sign. So, 8 is not a perfect square. So, therefore, what would be the factor? Okay, just write the word prime. How about the second example? m squared plus 36. Yes, all the terms are perfect square but we did not satisfy the second condition because it is separated by plus sign. So therefore, one of the conditions did not satisfy, we just write the word prime. Okay, is it clear? Are you following? Okay, very good. Okay, so let's talk about the more complex. 18x squared minus 32. So let's talk about the given or problem. Let us solve. So the first condition did not satisfy since 18 and 32 is not a perfect square and there is a minus sign. But we can factor it out using the common monomial factoring. So we thought that it is not factorable by difference of two squares, right? Because we did not satisfy the first condition. What are we going to do? Factored out using the CMF. The GCF of 18 and 32 equals 2. Why 2? Make sure that the remaining factor will be factorable by difference of two squares. Considering that the remaining factor, yung mga nasa doob ng parenthesis, kailangan ay perfect square numbers. So we cannot use here 9 as our GCF. Thus, it will become 2 times the quantity 9x squared minus 16. Kung mapapansin natin, yung 9x squared minus 16 ay factorable na by difference of two squares. Kaya naman, ang magiging result ay 2 times the quantity 3x plus 4 and 3x minus 4. Sorry, there is a correction with our variable. It should be x. 3x plus 4 and 3x minus 4. Correction. Okay, that will be our answer. How about the second one? p to the 4th minus 81. Yes. We satisfy the first condition. 
How about the second condition? Yes, there is a minus sign. Okay, so therefore, our answer would be P squared minus plus 9 and P squared minus 9. Is that our final answer? Not yet, because there is still factor that is factorable by difference of two squares. So we need to factor it out completely. Thus, our final answer would be P squared plus 9 times the quantity P plus 3 and P minus 3. Okay? Did you follow? Okay, so that's it for today. So I will be giving you exercises to answer. So you need to factor completely items 1 to 10. I would like to thank Sir Carlo Luna for the content of my video presentation today. One of our uh, deaf ed teacher in Angel City. Shout out sayo, sir. Thank you so much. So I hope that you learned something from this video. See you on our next video.